are just absolutely angered and terrified and disgusted by the uh, expected action any minute of the Trump administration. Now, this isn't the first children that have been attacked. Obviously, there have been attacks on immigrant children, and they've used policy to attack refugee children, for God's sakes. So we're here to stand up and say it is not okay. You know, we're stronger than you know, and we will fight back every step of the way. And when you come up, when you come at us with bad policies, we're going to stop it. If we can't stop it, we'll slow it down. If we can slow it down, we'll mitigate it. And if we can't mitigate it, we will fix it the second you're gone. Protect trans students. Shame on Trump. Protect trans students. Shame on Trump. Protect trans students. Shame on Trump. In one month, I will do what few teenagers have the chance to do. Stand before the United States Supreme Court. Because my lawyers from the ACLU will be asking the court to decide whether transgender students like me have the right to be treated just like our peers at school. I've faced my share of adversaries in rural Virginia, but I never imagined that my government would be one of them. We will not be beaten down by this administration or any. No, we won't. What could happen today does not mean my case ends, which is why we have gathered here outside of the White House, the People's House, to let it be heard that we will not be silent and that we will stand with and protect trans youth. No matter what happens, no one, not even the government can defeat a community so full of life, color, diversity, and most importantly, love. Amen. No fear. Trans students are welcome here. No hate. No fear. Trans students are welcome here. No hate. No fear.